news from the region and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Shari Armstrong. Today is Wednesday, November 24th, 2010. Have you ever thought about going green at the beauty salon? Reporter Bistro Mihailova has more. The latest trend of green line products and services among the businesses in the Tampa Bay area is becoming more and more competitive. Alex Obian's Skin Spa, located in South Pasadena, Florida, is becoming part of a new and progressive idea for eco-friendly businesses in the area. When we believe that beautiful skin is healthy skin, we often overlook the simple gifts from Mother Nature. Embracing greener lifestyle, it's not only helping preserving the planet, but it's also improving quality of life. Feel better, look better, live longer, healthier, happier. As a client, Raritza Christopher shares her experience and concerns. I've been considering um, organic treatments for a long time now because with like growing up, aging, my skin is starting to uh, change too. So uh, being in my mid-20s, um, I just decided to do something healthier. Even though advanced technology like laser hair removal has had a tremendous impact in beauty salons, there are still people who prefer to go green for their needs. For more information, visit www.alexospa.com. Tampa General Hospital introduces a new unit for its tiniest patients. Reporter Brian Sinclair has more. A new facility is opening up at Tampa General Hospital at the end of the month. Workers are putting the finishing touches on the Jennifer Lay Muma Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. The unit promises to be one of the most advanced neonatal centers built. Um, we have incorporated um, innovative technologies uh, that um, are not elsewhere present. And by not elsewhere present, I'm talking about the United States, North America, and the world. The facility is designed to provide the best care for babies born prematurely or with other complications. Once completed, the NICU will boast accommodations such as 82 single patient ICU rooms and respite areas for families. Jasmine Brito, a mother whose child was born prematurely, talks about the importance of the facility to the Tampa Bay area. No one ever plans for, you know, your baby to be born premature or born with complications. So I think it's going to make a huge impact because this is going to be more friendlier for the families. It's going to be easier to deal with versus, you know, the old NICU. I think it's going to bring the community together. The facility is due to open up at the end of this month. For Florida Focus, I'm Brian Sinclair. Thanks for watching Florida Focus. We'll see you tomorrow.